Aquarius, let's get straight into your reading. If you're confused about anything, then please read my description box and my pinned comment below, especially if you're new to tarot. If you're cross-watching for an Aquarius, then just switch over the roles. This is general, so it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. Okay, what's coming in towards Aquarius, please? Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do, Aquarius, is I'm going to pull all of your cards first and then I'm going to take you through it, okay? Any of the zodiacs that I <laughs> mention, uh, please use your very best discernment because the zodiacs, they could be relevant to somebody that you're dealing with or they could be placements somewhere in your own chart, okay? Right, so you have the Ten of Coins, that's Virgo energy. The Hierophant is Taurus, Four of Swords, Libra, Five of Swords, Aquarius, Two of Cups, uh, Cancerian. I, I wanted to say Pisces there. Some of you are dealing with Pisces. That, like, that energy really wants to come through. Uh, the Five of Cups, Scorpion, Six of Swords, Aquarian. The Two of Coins is Capricorn. And the Six of Cups, Scorpion. Okay, the energy at the bottom of the deck is the Devil, Capricorn energy, potentially. We'll find out. Okay, right. Um, th th there is a strong message that, that is coming through here, Aquarius, like straight away. Um, I suspect that that Piscean energy, if you're not dealing with a Pisces, or if you know that you do not have Pisces in your chart, it could be that Pisces energy could be coming through in a bit of a distorted manner, especially with the devil energy. The devil energy in this read is the distortion of something. Okay, now it, it always rings massive bells for me whenever I feel Pisces energy that, that is distorted. And, and the reason I, I, I'm going to tell you straight out why that is, right? Um, if it's distorted Pisces energy, it can indicate that somebody is avoiding something and the route of which they have chosen to take to avoid something is less than healthy or less than ideal. Usually, through the help of alcohol, uh, drugs, any any kind of addiction. And it makes perfect sense to me as to why this devil would be coming out. Because it literally is that exact that exact uh, description. I'm, I'm losing my words. Um, some kind of mind altering substances that somebody is using as an escapism. OK, and it's the escapism that's the concerning part of, of that sort of distorted Pisces energy. Um, I mean, usually Pisces energy is really nice. It's, it's really harmonious. It's um, someone who is prepared to go the distance. But whenever we clock that sort of distorted Pisces energy, as I say, not a lot good can come from that distortion, okay? It, and it, it literally is that, because you've got the hermit under there as well, Virgo energy, introspection, and then you've got the king of cups under there, which is uh, emotional stability, emotional security. So somebody doesn't feel secure or emotionally stable right now. It could be you, Aquarius, or it could be someone that you're dealing with. OK, so th this is why I always say, look, keep an open mind, especially so with general reads, because you you never know like whose energy it is that the cards are picking up on. You, you never know who the message is meant for. OK, I am telling you, though, straight up, somebody is using um, escapism via some kind of substance or addiction as a viable option for them not to deal with the things that they have to deal with. Now, how you play your part into this Aquarius is completely up to you. 
right? That this could be somebody basically um, put in all of their crap and emotional insecurity onto you. That they could be blaming you for something as well that, that you haven't done uh, through their own fog, should we say, through their own state of mind. For whatever reason, they could be making you out to be the enemy or crosswatch or vice versa. Okay. Right. The card that's central to your read is the Two of Cups, which is a partnership. Any kind of partnership, business partnership, uh, familial relationship, love partnership, any kind of partnership. Any kind of relationship, well, all kinds of relationships do require an equal give and take, right? So two of cups, equality, give and take, um, trust as well. I mean, there has to be trust between these individuals in order for there to be a partnership to build upon, okay? That there is some kind of partnership here that, that is at the forefront of this situation. And it's not gone very well because we've got the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups that's bookending this Two of Cups, unfortunately. Okay. Um, someone feeling defeated and left out. Again, I get the strong impression here, Aquarius. Someone is trying to avoid, um, they're, they're trying to avoid the bigger issue. I do get the strong sense that you're getting the blame for something here. I really, really do. It's, it's just nagging at me, you know. Okay, the Ten of Coins, Hierophant, Four of Swords. Someone is giving up. Someone has had enough. I don't know if it's you or them, Aquarius. Probably you. Um, there, there's some kind of, uh, I, I want to say like a commitment here that somebody's reevaluating, but again it feels like you're trying to figure out how much you have invested with that ten of coins into this relationship or situation and and how much um it, it's like you trying to do some kind of damage control here you're trying to figure out how much you've put in how much if any that, that you're likely to get back out of the situation you're definitely reevaluating with that four of swords figuring out is this worth me keeping or am i going to have to release it and potentially wh whoever this unstable individual is potentially push them over the edge <clears throat> now here's the thing aquarius how much of their problem Problem is your problem. You know, you, you, you have to be realistic with this. Empathy is an amazing trait for somebody to have. You also need to have your own boundaries with that as well. Okay, there needs to be, and I, I am going to say it, there needs to be a limit on how much you can actually empathize with somebody, especially when they are self-destructive. Do you see what I'm saying? That there, there, there has to be a limit to your empathy. And it's funny because I was having this conversation just two days ago. There has to be a limit on your empathy. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself being taken advantage of. You can't just give it out to everybody. That That's true strength, is figuring out who deserves empathy. Because Aquarius, a lot of you, I can see here, a lot of you are dealing with an individual who is very, very self-destructive. And they're in a lot of ways depending on the empathy of others to, so that they will have what in their head is a valid excuse for their crappy behaviour. So... The Six of Swords, Two of Coins and the Six of Cups. Now I am going to clarify this Six of Cups because we've got emotional burdens, checks and balances and then nostalgia. And this nostalgia energy is right underneath regret, guilt, remorse and re-evaluation. 
So again, it, it's like that. This entire setup is making me really, really suspicious as to what actually is going on here. You know, I'm uh, with, with this particular sequence of cards. It's indicating that potentially someone is um, being emotionally abusive trying to get you to go down this path of nostalgia because ultimately if they were to lose you they would regret it because right now they're getting quite a lot from you if that makes sense why that six of cups please the devil yeah yeah, yeah. and that devil came out off balance as well um so whenever the devil comes out off balance it, it indicates that you know that the current situation is untenable but the other person is living in fantasy land that there, there there is a fantasist here in the street aquarius you're trying to give home truths to them that whatever they're currently doing is not the correct way to behave and they're basically arguing against logic and I'm pretty certain that that's come out in your read before Aquarius arguing against logic that's twice now that devil energy's come out twice it could be um that back in the day this individual was very endearing you, you know that their um hobbies or their habits whatever it is that's causing this devil energy it might have been that back in the day it was you know it was endearing uh for some of you you could have joined in you know um say it's like smoking or drinking or something right um that it gets to a point then where some people grow out of, of that kind of behavior and others unfortunately do not and it seems to be Aquarius that, that you're trying to grow and evolve from this individual but they still retain unhealthy habits of old and there, there's like a, a little bit of guilty conscience because at, at one point in the past you might have indulged them in this and joined in with them with this but now that you're older and wiser and of course ready for brand new things um it, it's become like an an anchor around your leg rather than something that was once fun you know six six of cups and the devil it used to be fun it no longer is now you're considering on how to break free from them or from that habit um it, it's not going to be easy five of swords okay like the, 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 there's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser and at the end of the day you understandably do not want to be on the losing side of the table you really really don't Can you tell me more about the six of swords thank you yeah the ten of swords gemini energy a necessary ending so this can be a travel or transition it can also be like leaving your past burdens in the past after having dealt with them um this individual someone around you Aquarius refuses point blank to deal with their past issues they have unfortunately brought their past issues into the relationship with you whether whether it's business romantic or family whatever a relationship at the end of the day it still requires the same thing trust give and take equality there isn't any of that here in this situation because they brought their past crap in to the situation or relationship with you and now it's unfortunately fallen to your shoulders to go through or initiate I'm getting this initiation energy 
to initiate this um, ending of this particular cycle, th this vicious cycle. It's under there, the Knight of Swords, yeah. The other person's not going to be expecting it, Aquarius. So that they're going to be quite shocked at your sudden decision. Even though, for you, it's not been sudden because this has been in your mind quite a while. What else for Aquarius? Again, cross watches, you can switch it over, okay? What else for Aquarius? Right, so you've got a couple that have come out. Ground your light, let your light, uh, let your soul shine, and then ascended masters create open communication. Okay, so I'm not going to have time to get the full healing messages for both of these. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this one as purely an intuitive message, and then we're going to get the full healing message from this one for you. Okay, right. So ascended masters create open communication. Intuitively with this one, Aquarius, you, it's time for you to speak your truth, okay? Um, there, there will be, ultimately, yes, there will be repercussions in any decision that you make, right? You have to be okay with whatever happens next, come what may, all right? And then ground your light, let your soul shine. Shine your light on the world and let your soul shine. This uh, The method of grounding our energy, bodies, auric fields and consciousness is to solidify our being in the present. Though the grounding process, uh, through the grounding process, our emotional, physical and spiritual bodies become unified, bringing balance and well-being to our soul and spirit. While this practice can be challenging, it's important for you to remember that you're influenced energetically by your environment. Grounding anchors your energetic fields and connects you to your emotional body while being present and mindful within those moments. Strengthening your aura and emotional and physical body is the primary goal of mindfulness as we feel everything that we experience through this energetic space. You're doing yourself a disservice if you refuse to honour your own shining light. Embrace the inner spark that sets you apart from everybody else. Claim and accept who you are as an individual so that you can thrive in life. Embrace yourself with this new confidence. Currently, you could be feeling sluggish, unmotivated and energetically flat. Your energy is distributed across different areas of interest and therefore is making you weaker. Pay close attention to how your body reacts around certain people, places and situations. It is up to you to develop healthy personal and physical boundaries. Right now you need to ground your light and come back to your heart space and centre yourself in the present moment. Make yourself consciously aware of your breathing. Is it slow or is it fast? Is it intermittent? Integrate your physical space, your physical body with positive charge by grounding your new and current experiences with breath work. Bringing in new light energy through your crown and anchoring your sacred self through your earth chakras will assist you in the grounding process. More importantly, never give power to anybody to dim your light. You are a lighthouse and deserve to shine your light across the night. The shadow aspect of this card is shiners, people pleaser and self-sacrifice. The sacred crystal is red jasper. So red jasper could be beneficial for you at this time. And the angel assistance is Archangel Sandalphon, uh, which pertains to energetic grounding and being in the present. And then the positive affirmation is, I anchor and ground my divine light in my heart. I am free. Okay, so quite a lot of things with this one, Aquarius. Um, you could be shy in a way from speaking your truth in fear of hurting someone else's feelings, okay? Um, you, you cannot live 
your entire life pitting the feelings and needs of others before your own. All right, there, there has to be a balance. Um, there, there was also an insinuation as well about you being heavily criticised and feeling drained and emotionally weakened by those that, that you're uh, surrounding yourself with. So it, it's time for you to really take a long, hard look at those that you associate yourself with and figure out, are, are they really your people? You know, are they really for you or are they talking badly behind your back or are they supporting you? Um, you, you know, it, it's time to get real, basically, with whoever it is that, that you're associating yourself with. It's quite unusual to have an Aquarius that is... Um, reluctant to speak their truth really really unusual but for whatever reason with this particular situation you're not comfortable with sharing your truth with saying how you really really feel sir aquarius please Okay. Trust. Bloody hell. Don't trust what you're being told. There is more to this situation. The answers lie within the finer details which are not being shared with you. Yeah. It's abundantly obvious that there is someone in this read, Aquarius, that you do not trust. That was obvious from the get-go. Caution. There is no truth behind this farce. Be wary of smoke and mirrors. Look closer and the illusion will melt away, revealing a sanctuary where only the truth remains. So, they do say that um, if somebody repeats a lie often in their head it becomes real now i don't know if you're being lied to or being lied about aquarius all i can tell you is you're around a prolific liar who has convinced themselves in their head that the words that are coming out of their mouth are a reality and they're actually not what comes out of them has zero basis in reality zero you will find sanctuary where the truth is Okay, right, so I'm about to pull out the swearing cards. If anybody is easily offended at swearing, then you don't have to listen. Also, if you have enjoyed my content, then perhaps consider hitting the notifications bell, and that way you'll be alerted every time I upload a brand new video. Okay. You don't have anything to prove to anybody. The shark is self-assurance. He's got a bit of a derpy face. But yeah, you don't have anything to prove to anyone. Once you love yourself completely, you'll understand that you're not here to prove anything to anyone, unless it's to defend the fact that you did not leave that huge turd in the loo. What the hell? <laughs> wow, that's a bit grim. Um, but yeah, Aquarius, you don't have anything to prove to anybody, right? Speak your truth. Literally, it's now or never, all right? Th th this situation has gotten to the point now where it can no longer be ignored. Like, it really cannot be ignored any longer. 
So that was your reading. If you would like to book a private read with me, then the link to do so can be found in my pinned comment below and it's in my description box. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.